If you think about the importance of art in our lives, art's really the vehicle that lets us embrace who we are and give ourselves the support to go outward to truly experience enlightenment. Art evokes emotion. It's educational. It, it, uh, it helps us uh, be more creative than we otherwise would be. I mean, art is how we understand ourselves. And I think that Maria believes in art more than anybody. Everything Maria does, she puts so much passion and heart into, and she believes in people and she believes in art more than anybody. Maria Bell is one of the unique people who combines creative vision with leadership and management ability. Maria inspires us here at the museum tremendously. She is intelligent, high energy, very effective, uh, great person, greatly passionate about the arts. Uh, I can't think of anybody who would be a better partner as a chair of MOCA with me. Maria's really put my work in historical context so that people can understand the development of the ideas of the ready-made and of, uh, I think, generosity and acceptance. Her uh, insight uh, is uh, very powerful in the art world. People watch what uh, Maria's involved with, and I'm always very, very grateful for that support. Laura and I wouldn't be here without Maria. I mean, her support has been Sometimes you just need people in your lives that understand you artistically. I actually remember this, but Maria has pieces from some of her very first collections. And we had a collection that went into the permanent um, collection at LACMA, and Maria made an exhibit possible. We couldn't be who we are without Maria's support, but we're just one in the many people that she's affected and changed their lives. Education for young people is one of our priorities at the museum, and Maria is one of the strongest supporters of that. I remember the day I met Maria. Maria came to an Express Yourself Committee meeting, and at the time I didn't know how crucial that day and that meeting was going to be for PS Arts. Uh, that year, Maria became a really dedicated and passionate committee member for Express Yourself. About a year later, she became a dedicated an even more passionate board member for the organization, and currently she's the board president. I kind of just on this uh, was kind of inspired by a river. I think the little ones show up and have a joyful, important, exciting experience that should be part of every child's education. Maria never gives up. When she believes in something, she will fight for it to the end. We're working and writing in a soap opera, it's like you have to have that dedication to do that. I mean, writing something that's going on daily, it's like I don't think people even could begin to conceptualize the amount of work that she put into that. She was a very accessible head writer, executive producer, and um, came up with some very good storylines. Maria gave us a um they were lead story, and at the time, what was I, 80? Yeah, I was 80 years old. And she's been a big supporter of this and helped me develop this. It's a human being's story as long as they're breathing and they're above the turf and they're doing something. There, there's no such age as discarding something. Every person of every age is a precious thing to explore. The depiction of women on television and on uh, and other media it is so important. It's, uh, it, it, it really does impact the way in which uh, I think they view themselves and then the, uh, the way in which you know, they grow up thinking about themselves. You might not know this. She and I are probably the top I Love Lucy fans in the world. Maria is dedicated to art, but she's also dedicated to humanity. And I think that combination is just a really rare combination. She's had a great career in television. She's a great mother. But more importantly, she's a great arts advocate. The Los Angeles community and the entire American art world benefits so much from your leadership and creative vision. She's a dynamite, dynamite piece of work. She really is.